Northern Front heats up. IDF destroys Hezbollah weapon stockpiles. Houthis mobilize missile launches. Nearly a month has passed since the important milestone that Hamas suddenly attacked Israel and took more than 200 hostages. Israel is still trying its best to rescue these unfortunate people. However, one of the biggest obstacles for the current Israeli army is Hezbollah, Israel's great enemy. The bloody escalation occurred when this army joined the fighting. The Northern Front is hotter than ever as Israel has successfully blown away an important weapons depot. More specifically, a new invasion force has moved into battle. If you want to stay updated with the latest news, don't forget to subscribe and follow our channel. Don't take your eyes off the screen, let's get started. The ground assault in the Gaza Strip is moving forward as a result of several forces encircling the northern portion of the Strip and dividing it from the southern portion, which is home to the majority of the civilian population. The northern portion of the Gaza Strip is under total siege, as forces from the east approach the sea and those from the north prepare to confront them. The strategy is to subdue the terrorists of Hamas and drive them from their hiding places into the open, allowing Israel to triumph. The front, against Kisala in the north, is advancing every day, hopefully freeing most or all of the hostages in the northern section of the Gaza Strip. Kisala made an attempt to harm IDF soldiers. They have lost a great deal of combatants since the Israeli army's attack started. On the northern front, the IDF murdered a great deal of warriors, and they sought retribution. The IDF has recently taken the lead in demolishing Kassala storage homes that had missiles and other weaponry intended for use against Israel. This war is no longer a war between Israel and Hamas. The Houthis are strengthening their military presence and deploying missile launches in Yemen in order to intensify their strikes against Israel in the north. Yemen's Houthis rebels, the preeminent military power in Yemen, are in danger of ensnaring themselves and Yemen in an escalatory loop that will lead to a re-acceleration of fighting in Yemen. While the Houthis do possess missiles and armed drones that can reach Israel, neither are likely to evade Israel's air defenses. The latest provocations by the Houthis will have no impact on the Israel-Hamas war, but they may provoke retaliatory strikes by the U.S. and its allies. The Houthis have successfully targeted sites deep within the territory of both countries, including vital energy infrastructure. However, many countries in the Middle East as well as North Korea have found themselves on the same side as outspoken critics of Israel over its war against Hamas. But the regime in Pyongyang, a violent persecutor of all religions, has very different reasons for their opposition. Speaking to lawmakers during their audit of the government the previous day, the National Intelligence Service said North Korean leader Kim Jong-un recently ordered officials to come up with ways to comprehensively support Palestine. Leader Kim Jong-un is believed to have called for wide support for Palestine amid the Israel-Hamas war and may sell weapons to terror groups in the Middle East. He has ordered his officials to support people here. South Korea's National Intelligence Agency's director Kim Kyu-hyun told lawmakers that Kim Jong-un is believed to have called for support in a bid to benefit from the war. North Korea, which is facing a barrage of UN sanctions due to its nuclear program, has sold anti-tank rocket launchers to Hamas in the past, South Korean lawmakers said after a briefing by the agency. They also said North Korea may attempt to export more weapons amid the war in Gaza. In the 2023 audit by the National Assembly held Wednesday, the National Intelligence Agency's director Kim Kyo Hyun told lawmakers that the North Korean leader is believed to have instructed a wide range of support for Palestine in an apparent attempt to benefit from the war. The chief of the South Korean spy service was quoted by Rep. Yu Sang Boom, the executive secretary for the Assembly Intelligence Committee, as telling lawmakers that North Korea could engage in arms trade with militant groups. Some images and videos posted by Hamas showed that its fighters used suspected North Korean weapons when they launched an unprecedented attack on Israel on October 7th. There are allegations that North Korean-made weapons have already been used by Hamas. It is possible that the weapons were transferred there several years ago. According to South Korean officials and two defense experts on North Korean weapons, Hamas had likely used a North Korean F-7 rocket-propelled grenade a shoulder-fired weapon that fighters typically use against armored vehicles. 
Another visual evidence also previously showed Hamas terrorists using suspected North Korean bullseye guided anti-tank missiles. However, Pyongyang junked claims of Hamas using its weapons and claimed it was a groundless and fake rumor orchestrated by the U.S. Speaking at a U.N. General Assembly session, Kim Song, North Korea's ambassador to the U.N., denied any involvement. Experts said that North Korea's participation in the coalition may seem odd. They noted that the regime has no sympathy for Muslims or anyone with any faith, and its support for Palestinians can only be understood through the prism of its anti-U.S. campaign. North Korea has long maintained a policy of strengthening the international anti-U.S. bloc. Palestine or Hamas is just another partner in that effort said a senior analyst at the Korea Institute for National Unification, a state-funded think tank. The reason why Pyongyang has nonetheless been hostile toward Israel is that they consider Israel as a U.S. puppet. In its official encyclopedia, North Korea describes the first Arab-Israel conflict as a war for justice and liberation against American and Israeli invaders. However, analysts said North Korea's support would not mean much for Palestinians and has no practical impact on the Israel-Hamas war. North Korea's Kim Jong-un is mobilizing support for Palestine in the wake of Israel's war with the Palestinian Islamist militant group Hamas, according to South Korea's spy agency. The head of the spy service informed lawmakers that North Korea and China accounted for over 80% of foreign cyber attacks on South Korea and that the number of these attacks had climbed by almost 32% this year over last. Lately, North Korea has been focusing more on attacking private businesses than state organizations, notably the most popular South Korean portal site, Niver. In collaboration with the Korea Internet and Security Agency, the NIS evaluated cybersecurity and discovered that it was feasible to print extra ballots, tamper with the results, and gain access to the database maintained by the National Election Monitor. With the general election only six months away, the ruling People Power Party and the Democratic Party of Korea decided to form a committee to look into the cybersecurity issues surrounding the National Election Commission during Wednesday's audit. That's all the information we want to provide you in today's video. If you enjoy this news, please give us a like. To update the latest news as soon as possible, don't forget to subscribe and follow our channel. Thank you so much and see you in the next video. Goodbye.